And once again, Cal, a Spanish, Spanish town, has got scooter lanes. As you can see, that's a good shot of a scooter lane, actually, because it shows you how much space you get on the main roads, and the cars do respect you here as well. Just superb. Just wish England would catch on to it. So we've found the seafront, and it's a whopper. It's beautiful, yeah, so yeah. clean and tidy. Uh, there's two beaches here. Yeah. There's this one here that's a rocky side. I think there's a beach around further around. We're going to go. Yeah, have a, a bit look, more sand down there. But the two beaches are split by this big rock, and I, I, what, it's the rock of uh, I, I, fact, I don't think you say it like that, Mark. But I don't know if you can catch them. But there's people right at the top. You can walk it apparently. Not for me today. It's far too hot, <laughs> so we won't be doing that. Mm. But yeah, the seas look stu it looks so tempting, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. I, when it's warm like this, there's no breeze, is there? There's no breeze today. I thought there'd be a bit more breeze than what the. And right over in the distance, through the gap in the, the rocks. If you can pick it up. You've got Benidorm. Which is our next destination. Yeah. Seafood for yesterday down there, isn't it? My God, we heard a lot of commotion. It's like a football ground, isn't it? Mm. So we've just followed the noise and we're down at the local harbour. And they're doing like set meals so you can get a starter, a main, dessert, wine, bread for 15 euro. Things like grilled scuttlefish and stuff like that. What's a scuttlefish? Can you hear them singing? Everyone's having a really good time. But it looks like, if you love your seafood, yeah. you're gonna love it here. The atmosphere is absolutely buzzing. Mm. And look at the, look at the, again, the big rocks just there. So that's a lovely view, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice down here. Yeah. Isn't it? We might come back at some point. It's don't do Chinese, or do they? So. That's why I like it. Look up there. Look at that. I cannot believe you can climb that. Yeah, but look at big boulders there ready to tip over. Yeah, that's come down off it. And everyone's sat here up front. <laughs> We've stopped here because there's two people climbing this rock and it's unbelievable. It's took them eight hours to get up there where they are now. Um, and it's just unbelievable. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's going to take another three to get to the top. I wonder if they'll know if I take this glass home, Mark. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably charge you for it, won't I? Yeah. Couldn't resist. We just passed a bar called Tequilas and it's happy hour. Look what I've got. Pina Colada. And Mark's got a Pinta. Looks like you, that. And look what we've got for sweets. Well, for snacks, sweets, and mixed dried fruit. Happy days. So we've rowed round to the other side of the beach now. This is the other beach. This is all where all the sand and everything is. Mm. And the mountain doesn't look as big from this angle, does it? No, they're as big, is it? We've no. just been round the other side, haven't we, with that crazy guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a crazy guy to stop me showing me about where, where those two climbers were. But he got a bit crazy, didn't he? So we've had to leave quite sharpish. Mm. Just be careful who you talk to around here because he might say there's something and they're not. There's something completely different. Yeah. He reckoned he worked for the climbing people, didn't he? But we don't think he did. Anyways, so this is the sandy beach that's around this side. So you've got two different beaches. You've got a calm one and this is a bit more touristy, shall we say? Have a sit down, Mark. Yeah, it makes your legs ache after it on scooters. It? Yeah, it does. But I tell you what, guys, without these scooters, we wouldn't see as much as what we're seeing because you couldn't get around these places. So big up to our scooters. Well, we love them. To walk from where we've been right around there to here, it's been about an hour. Oh it? my God, it'd have been ages. It just took us about five minutes, hasn't it? Yeah. Zapping round. And you feel so confident because of the cycle lanes that are everywhere. Brilliant. We're in a restaurant, and guess what? It's not a Chinese. It's an Italian. It's an Italianese. Italianese. We just went past, and the pizzas look phenomenal. So we've dived in here. We've been all over Calp looking for somewhere to eat. Are you ready for this? Like a bowl of chips, Lee. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of mine. I'm never going to eat that. That's chips for one. Oh, it's a sharing one. Yeah. Espanola. Well, that was amazing. That was absolutely fantastic. A limoncello. Mm. <laughs> but the pizzas. 
fantastic. If you're ever coming to Calp and you want to go to the Dolce Vita di Calp because the pizzas are phenomenal and what a good price. 35 yeah. euros for all, for all that. that. And with the biggest bowl of chips and you've got some supper as well, haven't you, for us? Yeah, I've, I've had to take off my normal yeah. me. Fantastic. Today's fascinating fact about where we're at. Calp has flamingos. Mm. Who'd have thought it has flamingos in this salt, salt flat here? Now you think we're somewhere tropical, wouldn't you? Unbelievable. They're not bright pink, because they're like a whitish pink. Yeah, keep having a go at each other as well, though. Oh, look, fat, fat's on, fat's on. Not only do you get bull farts, you get flamingo farts as well. So I don't know whether you've been following the weather in uh, Spain of late, but they've been having floods. Benidorm had it a week, week and a half ago. Like, yeah. Now, where we are at Calpe, it's just up from Benidorm, and they've got drain storms there, and they, they have got actually drain got... Drain storm drain. Oh. And they've got storm drains just there and they do have water in them and i'm really surprised because i don't think calc was affected but we were told when we arrived yesterday that alicante down the road cars were actually swimming down the streets so apparently there's some more on its way but i don't think it's going to get as bad as it was right, well knowing our luck no probably you're going on about floods that much it'll probably happen to us the one weird thing we have noticed about calp is that there's a lot and lot of new builds really really nice fancy hotels mm. but everyone always heads for Benidorm but it's a shame if you like Benidorm but you want a bit more quieter not so much hen and stag do's come to Calp. I've given in and I've had to fetch him to McDonald's because he just won't look around the market you feeling any better? Are you hungry? Yeah we had to wait ages though don't we? Oh. I think this is the worst McDonald's we've ever been to I only ordered two egg and sausage McMuffins coffee and he had a, a drink with no ass we've got a drink with ass i've got here's my coffee yeah a cup of hot water so i'm going back with up no in him with no milk nothing so yeah i'm going to be going back up in him then it just eat this and then uh make sure you calm down a bit it's not going to touch sides that though is it with you no. you both Oh. Nice. You've already seen the churro stand, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll mark it. It is raining at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, that. the rain's followed us. It's finally caught up with, but it... the good thing about the rain here is it disappears very, very quickly. So that was McDonald's. Blah. What we we'll be entering there again, I don't think, Mark. I've never known a McDonald's take 20 minutes for two egg McMuffins. Right, we're off to find a bank now. Try and find a bank anyway without getting run over by a bike. Let's get out the bike lane, it might help. <laughs> we've, it's rained anyway while we've been in there. We left the vents open on the van. So. Uh, wait a minute. We? No, I always say close the vents, but Mr. Hothead here always wants it nice and cool. So if we get back and the bed's soaking, someone's in big trouble. I've seen a hat here, look, Lisa. What, for you? Oh. Oh, yeah. That would go down well, wouldn't it? What do you want to wear that for? It's fashionable. Surprised you haven't found one saying... A few water bottles, a water pump one. That's a good idea, especially when we're out here, isn't it? When you have it outside and you just press a button. Can you not find anything there? They're different size caps, aren't they? That's a trouble. I gave you me 10 euros. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I've spent it. <laughs> He's well miffed. We've just come to the end of this one and it carries on. He thought it had finished. And it's on the side as well. It's bloody stupid. Or it's, like... it's mega cheap. It's ridiculous. I know it's not the best quality of stuff, probably, but it is mega cheap. Where else can you get shoes for one euro 99? It's unreal, isn't it? Mm. They're not you've the got, best light, but they'll do you while you're here. You could leave them here, couldn't you, after your holiday? You've got a cupboard full of shoes already. Never have enough shoes, can you, girls? Being dragged down again because he's seen some. It's another buffet. 
Found another one. Yeah, buffet. Buffini bit. No, it's nice food. No, he's not going to say it's not, is it? <laughs> How much is it? I don't know. We, we come back, okay? Oh, look, Mark, there, there. Ten ninety-five. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's good. Ten ninety-five. Menu, menu. Menu, yeah, that's yeah. menu there. Good. Oh, you're happy yeah. now, aren't you? Ten ninety-five. Yeah. He'll be back. We come back. Thank we come you. Back. <laughs> oh, ten ninety-five. That's oh, good, isn't that. it? That was cheaper last night. Yeah. I bet you wish you'd saw it last night now, don't you? Yeah. I need to bookmark it where it is, don't I? You need to bookmark it. That's fun. a new one. So I know. Bookmarking Maps. things now. Where am I? <laughs> where am I? You're in Spain. Right, so it's called... What's it called? Fu Man Lu. No way. It is, it's Fu Man. It's Buffet Libra, Fu Man Lu. Fu Man Lu. Weren't there a film called Fu Man Chu? I'm sure there were. Comment below if you've ever seen that film or heard of that person, Fu Manchu. Yeah, sort of put a little thing on it, a pin on it, so we've got another you night here. time it opens, Oddie. You come back matter. tonight. Yeah, we'll come back in a bit, can't we? Okay. If it's a buffet as well, you can just eat what you want for 10 95 Well, you do anyway. If anyone knows what this game's called, let us know. Go! <laughs> Oh, shoot it. Yeah, I'm going for it. Right, go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a try that Right, Mark reckons he's going to attempt to climb these stairs. Go on then. I'm not going that way, up, but. I don't know who you think you are. That'll do, won't it? <laughs> That'll do. So, what are these called? Uh, Spanish stairs? No idea. Look at this building, though. Isn't I know, it? isn't it gorgeous? Look at that for a building. How they painted it on the side. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that there. Wow. It's a mystery here, isn't it? Very much so, yeah. Can you imagine if you had a drink and you fell from top, you'd come all the way down, wouldn't you? You'd come rolling all the way down. Why would you think about that? So the street's getting even more steeper. There's, our, our scooters have give up the ghost, haven't they? Yeah. Sweating, <laughs> look it? at this one here. And it's show on camera, I'll no, it, it probably don't hold. It's absolutely baking as well. So, sympathy votes, guys. Come on, we're doing this for you to show you around. <laughs> We found a little cafe in the old town and we've just found a valu valuable bit of information. Don't order coffee when you come to Spain, you'll get Americano, which is no milk. It's Cafe Lache. Leche. Leche. Cafe Leche. And that's coffee with milk. So I'm going to say that all the time now. Because every time I've ordered a coffee, I get, literally get either hot water <laughs> or Americano, and I can't drink that. Not in this weather. I need milk in my coffee. You're on the cork, aren't you? I want some churros. He's after churros. He's convinced that the churros fellas here that was out at the market the other day. I think he's right, actually. So we'll see what we get. We'll order that and get something completely different. When we were in the cafe, we were just looking at places of interest to go to, and this came up. Mm. It's called Xanadu, which is one of my favourite films as well. But that's why I saw it. And it's one yeah. of the best places to come and get photos of kelp. And boy, it hasn't disappointed. Yeah, yeah. But there's buildings down here that have been like ar architecturally interesting, is the word. I mean, I'll show you this one right next to us now. It looks like a game of Jenga. You just don't expect to find houses like this at the edge of the sea in kelp. And there's another one over here. You can just see it through, you can't see it very well but you can see this one here. But just look mm -hmm. at the view. Absolutely stunning. That's where we were yesterday, right over there, underneath that big rock. Would you call it a mountain? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like a volcano. But yeah, if you do come to Kelp, 
and you want if you've got transport you couldn't walk here it's too well, far you can see that's the top beach isn't it and then there's the other bit where we went yesterday the other side of the rock yeah so it's half an hour 45 minutes walk yeah and if you want to go down to the beach get your sea legs on because there's a lot of stairs as you can see people are going down now We've just been saying what's that building down there there used to be a building there but it's i don't know what's happened you can see the footings for it but everything's gone probably just fallen into the sea all the time hasn't it yeah but i don't fancy going all the way down there do you mark no that's that's, that's not like a holiday thing to do too much trekking so yeah beautiful Where we are, where are we? Chinese, of a Chinese restaurant, all you can eat buffet. But he's not gone for the all you can eat buffet. No, what? because you can either do one or the other as a couple. You can't have one, can have one menu, one have the other. You've got to have the same. We've got and it one all inclusive, so we've gone for the 10.95 meal, which has all been right. all right up to now. We've had soup, spring I've roll. had a skewer, and he's had a spring roll, and then we're just waiting for the mains to come we're now. Finishing the soup, uh -huh. <laughs> he got hot and sour. I don't think he's had it. Have you had it before? Have you? Mm. He's gone bright red. Aren't you? Your face is bright red. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Well, have you got the main meal? Main meal. Uh, crispy chicken and rice. What have you got? Yeah, chicken curry and rice. Well, then you get a drink and then you get a dessert as well. All for 10 95 Can't knock it really, can you? And we've got the whole Chinese to herself called Fu Man Lu. Yeah, we saw it earlier today, didn't we? Yeah. So we came back, mm. like we said we would. Well, you very nearly missed this then because it's that nice, we forgot to pick the camera up, but Mark just said you better show them what we've got. So, mm. like I said, I've got crispy chicken. Mm. It's a bit like salt and pepper chicken, isn't it? But not very as far, so yeah. yeah. Mark went for the chicken curry. He did come with loads of, yeah, he did come with loads of veg, so I've had to have all that. And you get a rice each, but oh my God, tasty isn't it oh yeah it's really good fresh really now. really good yeah yeah i'm really surprised actually because when it's like you're the only one in a restaurant <laughs> there were a few in there but they're all gone now aren't they? you get a bit worried don't you that was Fu man lu Fu man lu not, not Fu, Fu man chu, chu. <laughs> We've just got back to the van. We've had a lovely evening uh, with two of our friends that we've met while well, we've been part on this campsite. Um, Gaynor and Mark, it's been a fantastic night. Thanks for having us. Mark's just putting the scooters on charge for tomorrow. And we're off to Benidorm in the morning. Here he is, the man himself. I'm just saying we're off to Benidorm in the morning, aren't we? Mm -hmm. He's really looking forward to it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to see Sticky Vicky. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. As you can see, we're all packed up and back in the van because we are eager to get to Benidorm. The sun is absolutely beautiful today, not a cloud in the sky. But this road that we're travelling down at the moment is the coastal road to Benidorm through Altea. And Mark's really having to concentrate because it is the windiest road. <laughs> Yeah, it's just come on the straight bit now, on the road again now. Yeah, but it's worth it for the views. The coastal road is it's stunning. Uh, we can see we, we can actually see Benidorm from the main road and Altea because it's literally what half an, half an hour away. It's about 20 minutes. If that, so we've set off a bit later today, had a bit of a lie in. Yeah, we'll um, show you around Benidorm. Are you ready for it? Let's see. <laughs> 